last week, we actually had someone ask us a few questions about Lake Ridge. And so we said that we would focus on Lake Ridge as our community feature this week. So Lake Ridge is another large planned community here in Northern Virginia. So it's a pretty big suburb made of mostly single family homes. It's over 7,500 acres. It's a wooded area, kind of has more of a park-like feel to it. I would say it doesn't give a rural feel, although there are a lot of trees. It's just that it's really almost park-like setting. And there are over 7,200 homes in Lake Ridge, and that's going to include single families, townhouses. There are even a couple of apartment complexes and condos. And so Lake Ridge kind of reminds me of of a cross between two areas in Fairfax County. That's going to be Reston, which is the largest plant community in all of Fairfax County, and then Kingstown, which is the second largest. Lake Ridge is actually gonna be kind of in between those two size-wise, and it's kind of one of those self-contained communities where when you live there, you have the opportunity to do all of your recreation, all of your living, all the creature comforts that you know and love are there. So you don't have to leave the area when you're not at work, when you're not at school. You can pretty much live in the area. It's an area where people who enjoy the outdoors really enjoy, and that's because it actually borders the Aquaquan Reservoir. So some of the areas have boat ramps. You have lots of outdoor activities to do in the area. You're also gonna have a huge homeowners association. So they have five Olympic sized pools. They have tennis courts and basketball courts volleyball courts, there's even a golf course. And so you have a lot of those creature comforts available to you in Lake Ridge. And so when you live there, there's also shopping opportunities there. So there are a couple of different, you know, either plazas or strip malls there. It's actually home to our second favorite pizza shop. So if you're in Lake Ridge, you should check out Presto Pizza. That is Abraham and my favorite spot. We actually stop by there pretty frequently when we're showing properties. As far as commute, it's probably one of the more manageable commutes from Woodbridge. Depending on your location, you could be just three minutes from 95. You're only, I wanna say, it's kind of a great in-between spot. Like you could, you could be 20 minutes from Quantico or you could be 20 minutes from Fort Belvoir. So it's a place where, you know, you can work in a couple different areas and still get there pretty quickly. You're still gonna be pretty far from a metro if you're at Lake Ridge. The closest metro is gonna be Springfield, which is over here in Fairfax County, which is gonna be probably about 10 to 12 miles away, depending on your location within Lake Ridge. And then there is the VRE though. So they're only about three miles from a VRE, which, you know, if you're going into Crystal City, are you going into Arlington? That might actually be even better than trying to get on 95. So it's a location with a lot of options when it comes to commute and where you want to be. So long as you're not going someplace like Tyson's, it's actually maybe a, a good consideration. On to things to do. For this one, I wanted to highlight something that was actually going to kick off this week. If you're familiar with Northern Virginia, you may have heard of Aquaquan. So Aquaquan is the small historic town just south of Fairfax County on the Aquaquan River. It has about a thousand residents, about 20 minutes from DC. Really cute little quaint town, has lots of older shops and specialty stores, really cool place to visit any time of year. And so they're going to reintroduce the Aquaquan Holiday Fest this coming weekend. So on November 20th, they're going to start their Holiday Fest, which runs from November 20th until December 12th. And so every weekend from this coming weekend until then, they're gonna have different events going on. So this coming weekend is the Christmas tree lighting. So that's gonna be on November 20th. A lot of the stores are gonna stay open late. So the stores and restaurants are gonna stay open later. So they use it would close around eight. So a lot of stuff's gonna stay open past eight o'clock. This particular weekend, you'll be able to go and see the Christmas tree lighting. So if you don't wanna go into DC for that huge tree lighting, there's also one in Old Town Alexandria. But if you want something a little bit more low key, a little bit more quiet, then you can check out the holiday fest that's gonna begin in the Aquapon tree lighting ceremony, which is this Saturday night. And each weekend, there's gonna be different events going on. So that's this weekend. The very next weekend, they're gonna have the Holiday Artisan Market, and so that's gonna be on the 4th and the 5th. And during that time, you're going to see Santa, but you're also gonna have the opportunity to shop there and check out the local wares. So it's gonna be a lot of people who have homemade bath and body products, homemade soaps and oils, lots of baked goods, handmade crafts, things of that nature. So that's gonna be on the 4th and the 5th. In addition to that, there's also gonna be a fire pit where you can roast marshmallows and have s'mores, do the whole hot chocolate thing. So, you know, just a complete winter wonderland. So if that's your thing, check that out, the 4th and the 5th. And then finally, on that last weekend, which is the 11th and the 12th, they are going to do readings 
Christmas Carol. I have not seen a Christmas Carol since, gosh, probably since I was in like high school. There are gonna be other events, including a gingerbread making contest, which I've heard is actually pretty competitive. Like there's like three tiers of entry and you have to like meet all these rules. Like what type are you gonna do? Are you doing traditional or like modern decor? So pretty serious gingerbread competition at some point between now and the 12th as well. So if you're interested in the Holiday Fest, make sure you check that out. As I said, it's a small town, so parking is limited, but you can park at the commuter lot at Route 123 in Old Bridge. So that commuter lot will have shuttles for several hours. I want to say from like 12 to 8 each weekend. So be sure to check that out. If you can't make it for the Holiday Fest, I think you should check it out anyway. Even if you can't make it this weekend, there are lots of shops there. I mean, there are two gourmet chocolate shops in like this small little town. There are a number of different restaurants, Little Breakfast Spot, Secret Garden Cafe, Pie Place is probably the most popular pie bakery there is in Northern Virginia. It's called Mom's Apple Pie. That's local located in Aquaquan. Probably gonna swing by there in a few days and get apple pie for Thanksgiving if I don't feel like baking. So definitely check it out. Great place. Actually a shop I wanna check out when we go back there. And it's called Man Overboard and it's a store with specialty crafts and home decor just for man caves and she sheds. And I don't have a she shed, but I think I might want one. So I'm gonna check out Man Overboard. Also, if you haven't already, please check out down the link in the description for the perfect home questionnaire. You complete that questionnaire and either myself or Abraham will get back with you to answer any questions you may have about your relocation and your plans to move to Northern Virginia in the near future. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time and I'll see you next week.